Lopez Wiley, I'm going to drag you kicking and screaming into this one today. Yeah, um, I heard this at the uh, one of the uh, movie theaters, the multiplexes in Times Square, had to get sprayed for bed bugs. At bed bugs uh, and beyond. They're fucking great. Tuesday night. Well, that was where I saw Eat, Pray, Love on the Sunday before, just this past weekend. So now I am disgusted and just itching. I can't tell if I have bed bugs or not. I had breakfast with you this morning. I'm fucked. What'd you guys have? Little Mc Mickey D's. Loving them hash browns and them <laughs> a biscuit fucking bacon, egg, and cheeses. Plural. Why do you go to Times Square? How many times have we discussed... On this show, don't see films in Times Square. Well, I went there because they had an early, early showing, and it was only six dollars to get in. So I. It was playing at the Ziegfeld. The matinee. So now all I know is that maybe I ate bed bugs with my popcorn. Maybe they're still on me, because apparently I looked it up. Bed bugs come out at night, and at the theater. It's always night. It's always dark in there. Probably That's the burn true, Fizz. It's the perfect place for those little blood suckers. Well, were you feeling anything when you were there? Not while I was there. No, but as soon as I saw the story, it felt like they were inside my eyes, like my eyes have been itching along with everything else. And there's no way they're going to get a, th a theater, a movie theater, clean enough to get rid of bed bugs. That place, it just has to be bed bugs forever. Because you really got to scrub to get rid of those things and spray. There's no way they're getting all all those theaters. 25 of them. Um, Damien, you're on running Fez. Hey, guys. Listen, Fez, I thought the whole benefit of your secret was you didn't have to go see shitty movies like Eat, Pray, and Love. What happened was I was I was going for the scenery. Uh huh. Okay. It Good made luck. me sorry. It made me hungry for Italian food. Then I heard about the bed bugs, and I was uh, lost my appetite at that point. Randy, you're in front of Fez. Hi, I was gonna let Fez give him a little relief from the bed bugs. If he had them, there'd be no doubt because they're, when they bite you, it leaves a mark like a flea bite, and it'll itch. It'll be a big whelp, and it'll itch for a week. That and I checked his house since his door is open. Uh, Kent, Georgia, you're on Fez. Hey, I was just going to tell Fezzy, I, I work for Orkin Pest Control, and we, uh, bed bugs are really on the rise right now. And, uh, if you ever go somewhere you think you, uh, were exposed to bed bugs, take all your clothes off at the door and throw them in the dryer, and that'll kill them. Also, check your bed for little black spots on the mattress. That's the dried blood that they will leave behind. Uh, but if you got them, you're screwed. It takes a lot of work to get rid of them. Here's Paul in Florida. You're in Fez. Yeah, Fez, when was the last time you took a shower, buddy? You got to start just, you know, you know, just showering when we're on a more regular basis. Get rid of those damn bed bugs. I took a shower this morning. Those bed bugs will go right in your dick hole. That's what I'm afraid of. They're basically microscopic. I don't see how I'm going to find them in my house. And so is your penis. So, I mean, they could be anywhere on me. And I well, just, you don't have welts, right? No, but I just itch all the time anyway, so I'm never going to know the difference. Uh, Ted, you're on Fez. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah. Just got a, I got a little good news for Fezzy. These things can lay dormant for up to like a year and a half before they have to start feeding. So he's got that to look forward to. You got a year to kill, Fez. When I was looking it up online, I saw where they've, um, they said where they, bed bugs have been dormant basically for the past decade. They haven't even been around America. Now they're back and in force. It's like that piranha movie in 3D that's coming out. We've awakened an ancient species that is now on the attack and looking for our blood. The movie's been out. No one went to see it. Um, Garth, you're on first. Hey, Fezzy. Hey, what hey, No, I'm West Man. Hey, don't worry about those bed bugs, dude. You should be worried more about the cum in the back of your head. See ya. I don't know what they feed on. Chris, you're on Fez. Hey, what's up, guys? Fez, uh, don't worry about the bed bugs because it's, uh, it's widely known that all bed bugs are homophobic. Burr! 
My blood would be delectable to them. With the diabetes, it would be very, very sweet. It would be basically like they're getting Hawaiian punch. So I don't even know how to check for them. They're so tiny. Uh, Vinny, you're on my face. Hey, uh, Fezzy, the only way to get bed, get rid of bed bugs from your home is to superheat your room to 140 degrees. They come in with these blowers, they seal off the room, and they have to heat it up to 140 degrees for at least two hours. Nice. Big bed bugs. Uh, Steven Tyler says he's going back to Amer he's going to be the new judge on American Idol. Unfortunately, in the meantime, he fell off the stage again during an Aerosmith concert. And under these circumstances, Joe Perry backed into him and knocked him off the catwalk and into the crowd. To me, it makes me wonder, are there any accidents where Joe Perry's been pissed at Steven Tyler for a while. Goes back to where Steven Tyler said he was leaving Aerosmith without talking to Joe Perry. Then Joe Perry got upset that Steven Tyler was taking this idle job without telling him. I have the feeling Joe Perry just happened to get a little too close to Steven Tyler on purpose. That he may not want him taking this American Idol job. It really seems like the perfect crime because Steven Tyler's fallen off the stage before. So I say, well played, Joe Perry. Nicely done. Um, Pirate Trucker, you're on my face. Hi, guys. How are you? Um, I think we're missing a, an important fact. Fezzi said that he saw the story after he went to the theater. So they discovered the bed bugs after you went? Yeah, I mean, he's the one with the cat. You might already have that from your cat, Fez. Uh, Larry, you're on my face. Yeah, the bed bugs are like hitchhikers, I found out. They, they, they go, the best place to get them in your house is from your luggage. Oh, you travel nice. on the plane, the bed bugs jump off one luggage and jump on the other. You take the bag in the house, you throw it on the bed to uh, unpack, and guess what? Uh, let's go over here to Earl in Ohio. Yeah, hey, Fez, you should be safe as long as you're hiding in your closet. Oh, they could get in there. They could find me anywhere. They may have found me at a theater in Times Square. Uh, Jim, Milwaukee, you're on run of Fez. Yeah, Fez deserves to get bed bugged if that rich prick can't come out of pocket any deeper than six bucks for a goddamn movie. The good news is if he does get them, they're blood suckers and they'll all die of HIV within a week. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Here's uh, Whalen. You're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, yeah. uh, if Fezzy gets bed bugs in his house, he needs to get some professionals over there. Make sure he doesn't get a traveler in there dumping out a mason jar of bed bugs on his bed, though. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, Sean Bayshore, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, buddy. It's funny to say, Fez, those 30 cows all over your apartment are probably infested with big bed bugs. I cannot understand a word you say. Why not? I said your, your dirty cat towels probably are covered in bed bugs. You sound like you have a cat in your mouth. I could not understand mush mouth there. Brian Williams says that Katie Couric is always welcome back at NBC. So I think it's that she's welcome back because right now she isn't a threat. What kind of threat would come work with you? Where if she was going to take over the nightly news. Ah. So he sees her. I don't see where it's a compliment. He sees her as being today's show Katie Couric. I got you. So, he's being very nice, but I'm not buying it, Brian Williams. I'm not I'm not seeing where this is sincere at all. Um Peter, you're on Fez. Hey Fez, Brian Williams, Katie Couric, who the fuck is that? Nobody fucking knows anymore cuz nobody watches the nightly news unless they're fucking 72 years old. You seem to know the names. 
Because you just fucking said them. Why are you talking about them? Why are you so upset about Katie Couric? I can't think of the last time I watched any of the nightly news, though. It just reminds me, like, and I know my dad used to watch them. But once CNN started, why would you be sitting there at 6 o'clock at night watching the news? Yeah, the cable guys have destroyed any sort of fucking... Yeah, cable's news. fucking... I want it now. I know the internet's killing cable news, so... Internet is destroying every fucking business out there. And it's a business that doesn't make any money. No. <laughs> that's the beauty of it. We have now... We're number one in not making money. The United States of America. Uh, Tony Armando Fez. Yeah, uh, not to keep bringing it back to the itchy subject, but uh, Fez, you might need to buy one of those man groomers. Those bed bugs could be living in your back hair. Yeah, I'm going to need a, uh, a writing mower. My winter coat has come in early. People buying uh, Sun Chips are complaining about the new 100% recyclable, biodegradable compost bag that they come in, saying that it's one of the noisiest things that they've ever uh, imagined. It's actually, it's so noisy just from the material it's made out of, it racked up like 95 decibels. How uh, much, what did it rack up? 95 decibels. 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 <laughs> I actually heard this over the phone. My my. How many decibels was it? It was a lot. It was uh, my sister-in-law was uh, snacking on a bag of these, and I'm like, "What is that noise in the background?" And it was the loud sun chips bag. I never heard of it before. I brought some in just so you could hear how loud it is. What? Yes, this new bag. What it's made of. Listen to how loud this thing is. How can you enjoy this snack out of this bag? It sounds like thunder is rolling in, like a building is coming down. Well, do you have a regular bag that we can put next to it? No, I, I don't have a regular bag. Well, what is it about the bag that makes it loud? Because now this whole thing, it's like if you throw it away, the whole thing is just going to um, disappear. All right, now I want to see you break that with a sledgehammer. I don't have the sledgehammer to go with it. But this is insanely loud. And I'll tell you what, these bags, they're not getting any better in any other way either. They're still incredibly difficult to open. Mm. All right, Fez <laughs> has a very loud sack. It's insane to put food in something like that. Something you'll go deaf trying to eat. Is it that loud? I think it's crazy loud. No, no. I have like 200 decibels. <laughs> um, here's uh, Brian. You're in of Fez. Fezzy, you got to go easy with that bag there. I'm going deaf from all those decibels. Go easy on us, please. Yeah, a little more. Dessa bells, Dessa bells, Dessa all the way. Um, Joe, you're on Fez. Yeah, I'm currently in the middle of trying to change my name. Uh-huh. Um, I'm trying to change it to Max Power, but that's not working, so I'm thinking about Todd Hillier. All right. Burn up, burn up, burn up, um, Scott, Florida. Fez, I wanted to call in because I couldn't agree with you more. My wife and I had the same discussion. That bag is thin and wispy, and it is way too loud. It's insane. It's like they put snack food in a pair of cymbals. <laughs> um, Pat, you're a run of Fez. Uh, uh, Fezzi, uh, you're complaining about fast food bags now. Congratulations, you're officially an old woman. Anything else you want to whine about? He did have that complaint that sometimes the people put strings on their bag. Um, here goes the John Yarn Run Fez. Buddies, 
Hey, it says he take that round bag and put all those chips into a nice, quiet little bowl. Uh, Fez, there is a Facebook page called Sorry, But I Can't Hear You Over the Sun Chips Bag. I want you to go over and join that uh, and bring up the decibels. Um, let's go over here, Charlie, Delaware. Yeah, the only thing louder than that bag is Ron's cow bowl. Bull? 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Here's Ryan. Ryan, you're on running Fez. Hey, buddies, I got an itchy bomb for you. Yeah. Uh, Iowa egg producer recalls 380 million eggs today for salmonella. I will not eat an egg. It's gross enough, just the texture. Now, 300... Too loud? Not if you crack it quick. What do you just eat? Fucking bed bugs? Oh, I hope they're not crawling in my mouth. Um... Here's uh, Joe, you're on Fez. Yeah, Ron. Yeah. Are you sure that that noise we heard was an applause for Fez and his traveling bed bug show? It could be. Uh, Nick, you're in Indiana, you're on Fez. Yeah, how you doing today, guys? Fez, I agree with you 100%. Me and my wife had a bag of those chips last night, and we were unable to hear anything else. <laughs> um... Dave, North Carolina. I can't get enough of the Decibels. It's my favorite Motown band. Crank it up. The Decibels are coming soon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Decibels. We'll be here for your enjoyment tonight. Um, let's go over here to Dave in Florida. You're on my face. Hey, guys. Uh, you were talking about itchy, scratchy, empty bags that serve no purpose. Uh, and I thought y'all were talking about Fez's scrotum. Eight six six run zero Fez. Eight six six run zero Fez. Uh, let's go over to Ryan. You're running Fez. Morning, buddy. Yeah. Despite all the decibels, this bag doesn't even do what it's supposed to do. I've had one in my compost pile for over three months, and it looks exactly the same. All right, let's give it just a, a good squeeze. It's crunchier than the chips that are inside it. Now, do you eat the chips? No, I don't usually eat sun chips. I'm not a sun chip fan. They're a little too healthy. You uh, just went out and bought the bag to... Yeah, when I heard about the bag, I'm uh, like, I got to go check this out. There's your insect invasion. There's the bed bugs, Fezzy, that are crawling around. On your body and your home now. Well, you'd be able to see these. These things are pretty big. Yeah, I thought they were like microscopic. Yeah, well, that's not microscopic. No, you can see them shits. Tear your shit up. If I can see their shit, they're really big. Earl, Ohio. Yeah, I love that band. Gene loves Decibel. Haven't heard them for a while. I must have pronounced something wrong. Um, Bill, you're on Renifest. I know the decibels are louder, but how's the test? Really big. I'll give you a little more of it if you want. He said, how's the taste? Oh, I couldn't understand him. Uh, Chris, you're on running fuzz. Hey, Fez, after two stents and a heart attack, you don't want to eat chips that are too healthy for you, but you'll have McDonald's every morning? See ya! I'm taking my anti-McDonald's pills. All right, we're going to take a break here. When we get back, lots been going on in your head, Fez. Um, yeah, there's a uh, there's a commercial out for BlackBerry that's a little annoying. A commercial out for BlackBerry that's just a little annoying. That's going to have me hanging on through the commercial. We'll be right back after the jump. I saw a commercial for the um the BlackBerry Messenger where the girl in it is so excited because one of the features is now she can tell if someone has read one of her texts that she sent them. So she can follow up and see if, the, if she's being ignored or not. And she was pretty gleeful about it, almost like no one ever reads my texts. I'm so glad now I can tell if they do or not. 
it just seems like a little too spyish for me. Where if you send the text and then you can follow up and see exactly what somebody's doing. Because once you send the text... AOL's had this for like fucking 20 years. You could always go and check your AOL mail. Oh, I thought they quit doing that. Yeah, AOL had that for a while. Now it just applied to like texting. So BlackBerry Messenger is basically like texting on your phone or whatever. But now it tells you when, when your shit actually gets to the person and if they've read it or not. See, then, what that seems like, once the text is sent, it feels like it belongs to the other person. Like, that's their mail, and if you're checking their mail, that seems a little too much. Yeah, but in terms of business, you like to know that everybody got it. Let's suppose you send it out to everybody that you work with. You like to say that all the people get it. And you can trace packages to know whether the person got their package or not. That's true. So, but it just, I don't... You still don't like it? Yeah, I just wasn't... It just seemed, the way it was presented just seemed a little too intrusive. Hmm? I don't have anything else. All right, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ-866. Ron Zero Fez. Uh, it is the Ron Fez show on a weekday. Let's go over here to Andrew. Andrew, you're on the Ron Fez show. Hey, Ronnie B. Uh, I just wanted to tell you about my favorite sporting event in Spain, mm -hmm. the running of the bells. Well, it was decibels. Is the, I bet that was actually the funny part of it. Uh, John, you're on Ron Fez. Uh, yeah, you guys were talking about uh, bed bugs. I just want to share with you, I have a friend, and um, he had to throw out his mattress. They live in a small apartment, him and his mother. He's uh, he's like 27 years old, and um, what happened was he threw out his mattress. He ended up having to share the bed with his mom, so basically I kept on teasing him, basically, you know, stressing the relationship. And I, I kept making fun of him, saying that uh, eventually he was going to grab his mom and not take no for an answer. Yeah, I think if you got to sleep with your mom and you're an adult, it's a, it's a fucking scary premise. Uh, Fez now has bed bugs, and he's trying to sell it to us like this is his newest hobby. He collects bed bugs. Well, they put him in like a jar or something, or is it like a bed bug farm? Just consider his apartment a jar, a oh. bed bug farm. Oh. Luckily, there's no uh, company over there. Yeah, it's my, I think it's more like a bed bug circus. Tony in Jersey, you're on run of Fez. Hey, Ron, hey, Fez. Hey, Fez, do you have, like, you know, bites from the from the bed bugs and all that? No, I don't think I have any bites, but I'm very itchy. Well, I mean, like, you would have all the bites. But I would get, like, one of those John Travolta, to, like, boy in the bubble things and just, like, stay in there until they're all dead, dude. I mean, might as well, like, you know, go the safe way. You could do that or do what he did at the end of it and just dress up like an astronaut walking around the planet Earth. That boy in the bubble was such a great fucking movie. He's in a bubble dancing. It was great. I forget who the girl was that liked him. Anthony in Jersey, you're on running this. Yeah, hey, Spence, I was just wondering, do the bed bugs, are they part of your new lease on your apartment, or you got to add those in, they're going to make you pay extra, or do they just come with the place? I'm probably going to get charged for having extra pets. Oh, no. They're actually more interesting than your cat. How old's your cat now? Three years old. Mm, so you'll have him another ten years or so. Oh yeah, yeah. I've I've checked it out online. Life expectancy on a cat. So yeah, I have another ten to twelve years with this thing at the very least. And one I saw lived to be thirty six years old. And I'm like, I'll probably have the Guinness record cat. Here's uh, Chris. You're on Fez. Hey Fezzy, listen, I got an idea. Take that sun chips bag and use those decibels to drown out the bed bugs. I bet that'll get rid of them. Doc, you're on a Fez. Yeah, hey, uh, I just want to tell Fez the uh, best way to tell if he has bed bugs is just to sit perfectly still and concentrate really hard, and he can just feel them crawling across his skin. That sounds horrible. <laughs> just try it one time. Just concentrate. All right. Uh, emails. We get emails.